The urinary tract system is an important part of maintaining a healthy body. This network of organs is responsible for filtering the blood and removing all wastes and toxins. When this system doesn't work properly, complications may arise that could be severe or life-threatening. In this video, you will learn about the potential complications of the urinary tract system. You will learn how to identify the symptoms and how to take preventative steps to avoid any future problems. A spinal cord injury can change how your urinary tract system works. The signals that go back and forth between the brain and the body may be disrupted. You may not know when the bladder is full, or you may not be able to control the muscles that are needed to empty urine. This is known as a neurogenic bladder. There are two main types of complications associated with a neurogenic bladder. They are spastic and flaccid. A spastic bladder means that the bladder involuntarily squeezes. This can cause a person to accidentally urinate. Problems from a spastic bladder can be a smaller bladder size, bladder muscles that are always contracted, and sometimes painful or disruptive bladder spasms. You can also rarely control the muscles that tell the urethra to open up, which can lead to the bladder not emptying completely. A flaccid bladder means that the bladder muscles have lost the ability to contract or squeeze and can easily stretch. Because the muscles don't contract, the bladder may overfill and leak urine. Also, the bladder may not empty all the way. Although your spinal cord injury affects normal bladder function, proper management and awareness will help you achieve a more normal lifestyle. There are several ways to manage your bladder. One of the most common is the use of a catheter to empty your bladder. A catheter goes into the bladder through the urethra and allows urine to drain. This helps to keep the bladder from getting too full and causing damage to the kidneys. Having a bladder that doesn't work like it used to or using a catheter can increase the risk of other complications. They include autonomic dysreflexia, a urinary tract infection, or UTI, urine reflux, bladder stones, and bladder cancer. Because you cannot feel or control your bladder, you may experience autonomic dysreflexia when your bladder is full and not emptying correctly. Autonomic dysreflexia can be life-threatening, so it should not be ignored. People who use catheters are at a higher risk for developing an infection. Urinary tract infections, also called UTIs, are caused by bacteria entering the system through the urethra and infecting the bladder and possibly the kidneys. If you have feeling, you may experience low back pain or other aches. But if you don't have feeling of your bladder or lower back, your body may respond in other ways. You may have increased muscle spasms, fever, chills, loss of appetite, you may feel more tired than usual, you may be nauseous, or you may vomit. Urine may leak from your urethra, even if you have a catheter. Some people may see blood or sediment in their urine. It can become cloudy or amber in color, or have a foul smell. If you have signs of a UTI, you should contact your doctor. There are ways to help prevent a UTI. One is to wash your hands, and the other is to drink plenty of water. You should drink at least two to three liters of water every day, and avoid beverages like soft drinks, coffee, and tea. Keeping the catheter and the insertion site free from bacteria is also important. You should wash the catheter and the insertion site twice a day with soap and water to keep bacteria to a minimum. Another complication can be urinary reflux. Reflux is the backflow of urine into the kidneys. Signs and symptoms of reflux are similar to a urinary tract infection, but the most common is kidney damage. To prevent reflux, 
Empty your bladder on a regular schedule and make sure your catheter tubing does not get kinked or clogged. Another complication you may face is bladder stones. Bladder stones are a buildup of minerals that are often caused by the bladder not emptying or by not drinking enough water. Bladder stones can also be linked to urinary tract infections. Again, the signs and symptoms of bladder stones are similar to those found with UTIs. Take these steps to prevent bladder stones. Receive a yearly examination by a urologist and maintain healthy catheter practices. Drink plenty of water. Avoid mineral water, soft drinks, and energy and sports drinks. Irritation from catheters can increase the risk of bladder cancer. Maintain personal cleanliness and be clean and careful in your catheter changing technique. Be sure to use catheters that are lubricated and made of soft materials. This is another important reason to get a yearly urinary tract examination. The level and extent of your spinal cord injury will determine how much bladder function you have. Learn how to care for your urinary tract to prevent complications and help maintain an active and productive life.